just talking about the world and stuff and how everyone's being or how everyone's been I guess I want to turn this into a series about uh just like thoughts on stuff I think as far as uh the world goes I don't know where it came from I think uh Stuff's crazy, but uh, I think it's only as crazy as you let it be. And I totally think that if, you, like, if you let yourself be in control and don't get in the way of yourself, then you can do so much. Sky's the limit. Like, uh, oh, I missed a chest. That sucks. Really, sky's the limit. <laughs> as far as you know the world goes and how you carry yourself sure we all like some of us grow up in unfortunate situations I did too um well not totally half my family was really supportive the other half was not so much but like there's still a way out and I think uh as long as you keep that in mind, you'll be okay. A lot of people make mountains out of molehills subconsciously, not on purpose. Some people do it on purpose, but a lot of people do it subconsciously. And so, a lot of the time, it feels like the world is collapsing around you. And... You have to piece it back together all by yourself, supposedly, but what a lot of people don't realize is us as people, as humans, are a lot more willing to help than most realize. And I feel like if everyone gets past the fact of um, like being too scared to ask for help, Then they can, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, ask people for help, and those people will help. But a lot of the times, they're too scared to uh, even ask because they think they'll say no. They'd rather not ask than get a no. What? What is that? Which I don't. I don't agree with. To like myself, I don't agree with. I, I don't think there should be any reason to be scared. Um, just for that fact that uh, people are a lot more willing to help than we realize. I think this game's funny because they all, like in the shows, they know each other, but. What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> you know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing Okay, I guess they do know each other. Anyways. He banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how? I think uh well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now the world has a bunch of social constructs. Are going to belong to yours? They kind of have to ignore to a uh, Get by, I guess, and if <laughs> if you cave, if you cave to the concepts, then sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? I think if you cave, then you kind of fall into something you don't want to be in. But I think if you avoid those those constructs, then you can make a good living. Personally, I think you should be your like own unique self. I think that's that I, that's how I think it should be. I forgot how to play this game. That's just what I think, though. Personally, I think you should get out, you should see everything, and you should witness being uncomfortable and 
get away from places you know. I'm not saying stay there, but like, you know, just be outside of like your hometown or away from family just to see what it's like. Yeah, I think if you can get away from all that, you know, and get out and actually see the world for what it is, realize it's not so small, <laughs> then you'll gain a lot of knowledge from that. And I think uh, as far as going out into the world is, I think, sorry, I'm saying I think a lot, but... I believe that uh, being not, I mean, you don't have to be self aware at all times, but being self aware a lot of the time is really, really good for you. Not like brutally self aware to a point where it's killing you and you're micromanaging every single movement, but to the point of like, oh, how did I. Like, what did I say? How did it make that person feel? Like, if we be some kind of compassionate towards other people in the world, then we'll get a lot further and we'll be a lot happier. I have no idea if this is just, like, common knowledge. But, I mean, <clears throat> people say it and then they don't do it. Like, oh yeah, I just wish everyone could be this way, but they don't contribute. The only reason I'm saying it is because I actually, to my best ability, try to be as compassionate to people as I possibly can. And try to uh, stand out of the societal norms, hence why I'm sharing my personal opinion over a Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough, because, like... I'm sure it's probably been done before because you can only be so original, but can't say I've seen it often. I think the only person on YouTube I've actually seen play Kingdom Hearts 2 is uh, Oni Plays. This is just like a childhood favorite for me. I played this when I was like four years old. Oh, give me that. I think in the world um, <clears throat> you should do what your heart desires. I think that's important. Like actually, what your heart desire desires. Sorry, it's important to figure out what that is and stick to it. I think if you're gonna change a bunch, then you're gonna be unable to complete anything in your entire life because you can't make up what it is you want to do it's a good idea to try a bunch of different stuff so like me personally I I took a lot of jobs as a kid did a bunch of stuff like I'm still young I'm still doing a bunch of stuff but um you know I worked in a field I worked in a restaurant Worked at a boat rental for a while, went to college, now I'm in a certain government agency. Not agency, but organization. What the name of? It'll give you a lot of life experience. Oh, and talk to people in all those places. Yeah, if you talk to, if you talk to all those people in all those places that you go, the world is like infinite wisdom. So many people so know so many things. And uh, there's some things that the internet just can't give you. That sounds, makes me sound old. I'm literally only 20 years old, but it's true. Uh, I just came back from Europe and while they were way different people, they uh, had a lot to offer as far as like wisdom goes, life experience, and 
all that stuff. And don't be afraid. Definitely don't be afraid to, uh... Don't be afraid to... Take wisdom from people younger than you. Because you have no idea what younger people have been through. Like, I might be 20, but someone 16 might have gone through way more than me already. Or I might be 30, if, if I make it to 30, I, uh, I'll be 30 and someone 20 uh, might have already been through a lifetime's worth of experience. And I think that's important that we put aside, like, the fact of, like, you're supposed to be wiser the older you get, which is true. You're supposed to be, but, like, the world's changed so much that things that should only be happening to 50-year-olds are happening to people... Are happening to uh, shit. I lost my train of thought. Things that should only be happening to people who are like fifty. It's happening to like teenagers. Like that's the world we live in now. Definitely. Uh, keep in touch with your parents. It's worth it. You know. Yeah, keep in touch with your parents um, and listen to them. I, I get a lot of a lot of parents nowadays aren't great parents which I think will start changing as like our generation starts to get older I'm hoping that it'll change because a lot of the last generation didn't do so hot if you ask me but there were some not all but there were a lot who did really well like my dad and stepmom did fantastic Fantastic parents. Um, but wait a they were great. Are still um, they did a great job with me, I think. Like, not to sound like I'm bragging, but they did a fantastic job. They gave me a lot of wisdom that I didn't listen to growing up, and... I think everyone should really listen to their parents. Um, definitely, definitely listen to them as you're going into the world, especially if you're like about to graduate high school or middle school. They will give you um, some of the best advice you'll ever get in your life. Uh, your <clears throat> your parents are not. How I put this. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. Just because they're blood doesn't mean they're family, though. If your parents are really bad. Like, really bad into drugs, or committing any kind of crimes, or whatever. Just because they're family, or just because they're blood, does not mean they're family. And as you kind of enter the world, you know, past high school, or even in high school, you know, it won't feel real at first. It won't feel real. Um... It'll kind of, it kind of won't hit you for a while. Like it's kind of, it's just now hitting me that I'm actually on my own, you know, responsible for things, uh, responsible for myself. Like I'm not, you don't get meals, um, made for you by your parents. You don't get people shopping for you. Uh, you don't get, I don't know if, if anyone's parents do this, but you don't get your gas paid for, you don't get your food paid for, you know, you have your own apartment or home to, 
take care of and you know uphold you gotta uphold yourself you know keep a good diet keep a good diet stay healthy work out maintain a job And that ties into what I was saying about your parents. You know, you gotta realize that even if they weren't, you don't think they were great as a kid, they had to do all that stuff and take care of you. So they did their best. And they're still doing their best, I'm sure. If you guys are close. Like, I'm close with my parents. Uh, one of my parents, they didn't. They didn't do great as when I was growing up, but, you know, she tried. Um, she tried, and she had her own problems, and growing up, I'm realizing now that I have my own problems, and if I had a kid, I'd, those problems would still be there, like, they don't just disappear. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about your parents, know that they tried. And they're still trying. And they just want what's best for you. And at least I hope so. You know, this isn't always the case. It's not just a one explanation for all. But some parents are just genuinely pieces of shit. But with that being said, um, with that being said, you know, at least you got to kind of keep an optimistic view on the world, you know. At least if you had piece of shit parents, you now know what not to become. Do the opposite of that, and you'll be fine. If you have one bad parent, you know, if that parent was terrible, you know, you have an example of what not to do. So that's perfect. And then you can kind of mold yourself around that and just be a great person. <clears throat> well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, and, you know, after... Right if you keep kind of that mindset growing up, I know it's, it's weird as a kid to be uh thinking about stuff like that but, uh, that's kind of what i thought of as a uh it's kind of what i thought of as a kid now now dears but don't you like this better hold on are you certain <laughs> If you keep that in mind, you know, as a kid. Would you just decide? <gasps> well, <laughs> all right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Iconic. 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 Yeah, but if you keep that in mind as a kid, um, which is a hard thing to do because, you know, you're a kid and you shouldn't have to do that, but if you do, that's what I did as a kid. I was just keeping in mind how I could not turn out like, oh, heck yeah, how I could not turn out like one of those parents. You know, not be like one of them, and be a lot like the other, because one of them did great. And if you keep that in mind, and as you grow up, you just be a morally good person. And try your hardest at everything you do, get out and see stuff. You know, have fun. I was just telling my brother this last night. 
Um, have fun and only only cause as much trouble as you can afford to <laughs> you know you know only or or only have as much shit my bad only cause as much trouble as you can afford to and what i mean by that is just like have fun of course have fun in your life you're gonna cause trouble of course you're gonna cause trouble i still cause trouble of course um but only do what you can afford to do if you can't afford to go on a high speed chase from the cops then don't go on a high speed chase from the cops If you because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the if you can't between them have disappeared. How do I put it? <laughs> if you can't if what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared afford if you can't afford to these pathways. <sighs> You know, can't afford to crash your car, then don't drive stupid. If you can't afford to, I don't. You get what I'm saying. Uh. So you took your first step out of high school, and you probably have plans. You're gonna join the military. You're gonna go to college. You now you're going to join the workforce. I had friends do all of them. I've done all of them. Um, but you're going to do one of those things. Or you're going to do your own thing, which I will always promote. You know, if you saved up some kind of money or your parents help you out with some kind of allowance, you know, go travel, take a year off. You know, there's going to be a year or two years or however long where after high school you have nowhere to be, nothing to do, and you're going to have all the time in the world. And once you start, <sighs> once you start having places to be, it almost never stops. Once you have somewhere to be after high school, it never stops. You know, you start a job, and you have somewhere to be. You know, you buy a house. <sighs> if you buy a house, you, uh, you have a job to be at, to pay bills, and... You have bills to pay, you know, you're going to have kids to provide for one day. Oh, I'm getting tired. This is, a, this is a crazy world, in my opinion. You know, you have people arguing all the time over all kinds of controversial topics, you know, like politics, religion. You know, pronouns, uh, sexualities, um, just people mad over nothing. That's another thing. Don't, don't live your life in anger, because it's gonna just make it so much harder. Don't judge people. Like, it's a very human thing to do, but just don't judge them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chip 
Undale, of course. Oh yeah. Whoa. I'm... I personally am really bad about judging people. I judge people like crazy. Uh, I picked it up from people around me. And my job. Like I got really bad about judging people. And I noticed that the other day, and I was like, I really, really don't like that. I do not like judging people. I don't like uh, being hateful or angry, really. And I think that's... I'm not going to tell people how to live, but I think that's the optimal way to live, you know? Keeps wrinkles off your skin. Keeps you going, keeps your heart beating, just being calm and like I noticed uh as my parents get older they get a lot calmer. And I was like, why wait to be old to be calm? Like I don't see why that like what the point is in that. You can be calm as you are now, you can be calm as a young man or young woman. You know, you can help those around you. <sighs> Leon from Resident Evil. What's that all about? Looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. Heck yeah, Hollow Bastion. Really, I think if. I think if you if you go in go in peace, go in with a, a calm mind into the world, you're gonna have a lot easier of a time. You know, don't try to fight with everyone. The Dewey. Oh it is. I sell my keyblade. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'll sell all this because I'm gonna use this. What you got here? Tent? Oh, that actually might be useful. Yeah, sure. Oh, can I only use it once? From the main menu? Are you kidding me? No, I'm okay. But. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I just think, in my experience, it has been incredibly easier of a time for me just to be calm, uh, peaceful, make peace with anyone that's mad at you. And if you know they're being stubborn, then let them live their lives. That's the town's defense mechanism. Oh, who's talking? Hello. Look out. And I think if if people are gonna be mad at you, they're gonna be mad at you, you know. And it's if you didn't, especially if you did nothing wrong. People like people hate to see other people do well. I couldn't tell you why. It's just like a human thing, I guess. You know, you see another person succeed, you're like, why can't I have that? Which, I mean, okay. Oh my gosh, Donald, we're on a roll here. Um, they don't like to see you doing well. You know, and that's okay. Even you'll notice some of your best friends. Looks like you're doing <sighs> Some of your best friends in the entire world do not want you to be doing better than them, and they will get mad at you for it. 
I couldn't tell you why, but. You know, we'll never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on. <laughs> and you're going to want to be mad at them and go for it. I can't say I blame you, but uh, like I said, it's it's just best if you're not mad. Everyone I know that you know doesn't live an angry lifestyle or an upset lifestyle typically has just a better life, whether they have things or not. And that's that's another thing I'm gonna get into is I don't really, at least not to me, it's materials don't really matter. You know, and you can say, oh, well, materials don't matter because whatever. You could think I have a lot of money or you could think I'm rich or something, which isn't true. <sighs> you can think that I don't think materials matter because, you know, I lived comfortably as a kid, which also isn't true, you know, I've lived poor, and sometimes just being without is, you're happier, you're disconnected from the noise, I guess you could say, you're disconnected from the drama that the world brings, and You're just being yourself, and that's about the best thing for you, really. Whoa. I think if you... If you can live in the world, but still be disconnected from it, if that makes sense, then you'll do good. <laughs> yeah, if you can live in peace... You know, not be angry. Is that Merlin's house? You know, live in peace, not be angry. Um, disconnect from the world, but be a part of it, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain. You know, be a functioning member of society by all means. But don't give in to the world's, uh, how would you say? Yeah, if you just live in peace, reiterate this one more time, if you just live in peace, live in peace, be happy, quite literally just don't let anything stand in your way, you know, chase after what you want, you know, Love, love everything, I promise. Love everyone, love everything. Because, you know, there's there's gonna be a day where those people that you think are gonna be around forever just aren't. Well, and then, what are you gonna do now? That day's gonna come where they're not around anymore and you're not gonna know what to do and you're gonna regret that one time you know you didn't say I love you to that one person whether it be a friend a crush uh, you know, your mom, your dad, grandparents. And I, uh, I don't care what anyone says, you know, romance in the world is... Like, things can be romanticized. Like romance movies, I guess. But, you know, stuff like that still exists. Like those... 
that old love everyone talks about, you know, that your grandparents had where they were inseparable for however long, 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. You know, that still exists. Don't be fooled by, like I said, society and the things that it holds. Like all this sexual stuff. Just think of it as a sort of Leon compliment. You know, it's not not everywhere's like that. Not every girl's gonna cheat on you. You know, for the girls, not every guy's gonna cheat on you, not everyone's gonna fall out of love. Not everyone's gonna disappoint you. You know, there's gonna be that one. But also, the one doesn't just appear. You kind of, they kind of have to be molded. You have to mold to each other. No one's going to be just perfect for you, but they are going to work with you, I guess you could say, to be perfect, almost. No one's perfect, but you know what I mean. To be able to live with you for the rest of your life. So now, now you're out in the world, you know, keep it in touch with your parents. You have yourself a person, have a job, and, you know, doing all that. Now, from there, it's just pretty much keep your head on straight, keep, don't settle for what you have always be looking for more and that's not in like the money sense like always keep a sense of adventure I mean I think that's a good way to live life once again let me reiterate I'm not telling you the way to live your life if you're happy you're happy then so be it for me personally I just I think always driving after more is good it keeps you on your toes and you're never gonna be comfortable with what you have you're always gonna want more like I said, not in the material sense, but, you know, see more things, do more things, learn more things. Always crave knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> you know, look, read books, you know, learn languages. Um, go places, talk to people, like I said. Learn as much as you can. And then write it down. I write all the time in some kind of journal, a journal or you know, write a book if you want, write songs. I like writing songs. You know, tell, tell your own story in writing, not on the internet either, like put it in actual physical writing, you know, something to give your kids or your grandkids. Oh, and yes, keep keep souvenirs. Keep souvenirs. If you go anywhere, say you go to Florida, say you go to wherever, you know, keep a souvenir from there and give it to someone you love. You know, whether that be, like I said, your kids, grandkids, friends, significant other. You know, don't be, what you call it, greedy. Give. I say, give about 80% of what you get and keep about 20%. That's my little philosophy. I say, if you give 80%, you know, you'll get back 160%. Because what they say about um, what goes around comes around is absolutely true. Absolutely true. 
You will always get back more than you give. If you give 20%, you're going to get maybe 25%. If you give 80%, like I said, you're going to get that 160%. So you put in 100% effort, you're going to get 200% return. And you know, sometimes it may not feel like it, but it's very true. You just, it might not be happening all at once, but you're going to get it. Just give your 100% in everything you do. And don't let anyone don't let anyone talk down on you. He's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. The ones we need to worry about are the nobody. <clears throat> if someone's organization 13 guys in charge too. You called. If someone's talking down on you, you are doing well. Just smile at them. This calls for a celebration. You know, cuz clearly like I said earlier, people are mad at um, they're mad at the fact that you have more or you're feeling better than them or you're happier. You know. And you know, that's just how it is. People are going to get mad. Like I said, just sit back. Don't laugh at them. No need to. Just smile at them. Let them know that you're okay. You're in control of um, everything you do. And they're not. I mean, don't let them control you. Because once they get a hold of you, they're just going to start walking all over you. And that, that, this all applies anywhere you go, you know, at a new job, at a new job, or what do you say, in a new relationship. Especially in a new relationship. Because, you know, that's someone you want to spend your entire life with. You don't want to spend your entire life with one boss, hopefully. But, you know, that's someone you want to spend your entire life with, and if they're already walking over you, then... That's not that's just not gonna do, is it? But, you know that doesn't mean just ditch them immediately. You know, you can work stuff out, like that really exists. You can work stuff out with people. And make things okay. That's fine. Yeah, don't let them control you. The only one in charge is you and Whatever religion you're a part of, you know, I'm personally a Christian. Okay, whatever, dude. I'm personally a Christian, and I think that's the way to go. Like, God has done so much for me. And, like I said, I think that's the way to go. But that's totally up to you. Um, on what you want to do. But... You know, believe. If you believe in something, believe in it. Don't. How do you say it? Don't half ass it. Like, actually believe. Actually practice your religion. Actually believe in that. <clears throat> Don't half ass it. Believe in your religion. For me, it's God. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. Believe in whoever you believe in. And once you have that faith, at least for me, you start giving faith to people. And you start seeing the good in them and stuff like that. I think that's important in the world. That's a key part of, you know, like I said earlier, make, keeping you happy. And, um... Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way. Staying happy, staying at peace. Talk all you want. Keeping a cool head. That's I think that's a big part of it. And making you happy. It's just that's a key part of it. Just making everyone happy, include especially yourself. Well, guys, that's about all I have to speak on about this uh this topic um who gave him the same look. If you uh 
to confuse you. Yeah. If you like what I have to say, stick around, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be doing these. It's just chill stuff. Just talking, really. Saying what I think, playing pretty obscure random games. If you enjoy it, then it's just gonna be raw footage uploaded into a playlist. And if you uh, if you enjoy it, then please by all means subscribe and like the video and come back for more. And I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you later.